friends, and welcome to another day of math with Miss Allen. Today is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and we're going to fly through all of our work together. So before we get started, I want you to grab your workbook page and an erasable pencil, and then we'll get started. I hope you have your materials. We're going to go ahead, and we are going to first start by counting up to 10. As you can see here, I have my little train, kind of like how we do the number train, but we have a lion driving our train. How silly. I love that. When I point to the number with my pen, I want you to tell me what number that is. We're going to count upwards and backwards. Are you ready? Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, turn. Great job. Now we're going to play I Spy before we count backwards. I spy the number eight. Go ahead and find the number eight. Are you looking here? Good work. Next one. I spy the number nine. Are you looking here? Good job. Last one. I spy. The number six. Did you find the number six right here in the middle? Perfection. Alrighty, I'm ready to count backwards. Are you? We're gonna start at 10. Ready, set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome job. Now, friends, that we have reviewed some of our numbers, we are going to go ahead and do our workbook page together. So go ahead and grab out your handy-dandy erasable pencil. The first thing we always do on a workbook page is to write our name. I want you to try your best to write your first and last name today. Practice makes perfect, so just keep trying your best. Once you have your first and last name on your page, we're going to get started. It says, use a pencil. Trace each number two times. Use the color red to trace the eights. Use the color blue to trace the nines. Oh, so it looks like we're going to need our crayons. Go ahead and quickly grab your crayon box. Find your red crayon and your blue crayon. Alrighty, friends. Now that you have your crayons, I want you to grab your red crayon. We're going to trace the number eight two times. You're going to trace the number eight right up. Oops. Right up here in this box. Start at the top, curve down, curve down, curve back up, and meet at the top. Go ahead and do it again. Curve down and around, meet back at the top. Perfect. Next, you're going to grab your blue crayon, and you're going to be tracing this number nine two times. Make a circle and a stick. Do it one more time. Make a circle and a stick. Perfect. I'm going to switch back to my red crayon, and I'm going to very carefully Trace all of these eights with my red crayon. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go around and down and curve back up. Around and down and curve back up. Notice I'm not just making two circles. I'm making an S. I'm curving it all the way back up. This might seem like a lot of work, friends, but practice makes perfect, so it's very important that you do not give up. Keep trying your best and keep growing your brain. Great. I think I traced over all of my eights, so I'm going to switch crayons. I'm going to pick up my blue crayon. I'm going to trace these nines. I'm going to make a circle and a stick. A circle and a stick. I'm going to keep going. Awesome. I think that I have traced all my eights and all my nines. Now I'm going to pick up my erasable pencil again. And down here it says write the numbers one through ten in order. So I'm going to start with the number one. I'm going to write all my numbers. Two. 
right all the way up to 10. Take your time and make sure your numbers fit inside of those boxes. They should look nice and neat. When you are done writing your numbers, one through 10, go ahead and flip over your page. On the back here we see Puzzled Penguin. Say, hi, Puzzled Penguin. The directions tell us to help Puzzled Penguin. Puzzled Penguin was asked to write the number six. Did Puzzled Penguin write the number correctly? He's asking, am I right? Hmm. Give me a thumbs up if he wrote the number six here. Give me a thumbs down if it is not the number six. No, I don't think so either. He is very confused. What number did Puzzled Penguin write? Looks like a nine to me. We just practiced our nines on the front, remember? Right here, those two numbers match. Puzzled Penguin drew a nine instead of a six. How can we help Puzzled Penguin write the correct number? Write the correct number for Puzzled Penguin. So down here on this yellow chalkboard, we're gonna try our best to write a six. Looks good to me. Now at the bottom, it says practice writing the number six. Remember to start at that blue dot and follow the stick down. It gives you a start for how your number should be. I'm gonna start at the blue dot, follow the stick down, and then curve around. Blue dot, follow the stick down, curve around. Those are some good looking sixes. Next it says to practice writing the number nine. Remember you make a circle first and then the stick. Circle first and then the stick. Start at the blue dot, follow it around to make your circle, and then your stick. Great work. Next, it says to write the numbers six through 10 in order. That means you're going to start with the number six and count up until you get to 10. Once you are done with that final part, you are finished with your workbook page for today. Great work.